Today's dissection is pretty much the uh, largest dissection ever, reco ever recorded. So this big male, he's, uh, he's going to be pre pretty much the largest um, dissection that you'll ever see. We're streaming it live, we're filming it live. So George is going to put some oranges down <laughs> into the one that goes into the stomach. So when we open it up, we should be able to find the oranges and we're going to sell them cheap for anyone who wants fruit salad afterwards. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. All right, so what are we going to do? We're going to roll it over. Okay, Olivia, which way are we rolling her over? Rolling Him, the sorry. Towards the audience. Okay, so the belly's coming towards you guys, guy, to the audience. Okay, everyone work in one side. <laughs> Don't try and roll it both ways. Okay, and slide while we're rolling. Push, 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 push. All right, here we go. Hopefully, uh, he doesn't end up on the floor. He's going to be quite a feat to lift up. As you see, it's taking a lot of people here to move such a large croc. This animal in himself weighs up around 500 kilos. So, not only the weight, but just the awkwardness of, uh, of this crocodile makes it very difficult to roll over. The legs get in the way, and uh, there we go. It's coming over now. Yeah, here's the oranges coming down here, right? So we're going down here. Look, here's the arm levels here. So the oranges are going down here. This is the part where there's a bit of a constriction. And this is the part that actually limits the size a meat a croc can get. But we'll keep pushing it down here because it's got to go, we'll get it down that far now. The stomach is quite small and compacted. So the animal hasn't been eating, you know, it hasn't had half a buffalo leg or something like that. It's just been obviously fat. It's just been fed a couple of chickens a week. Oh, well, how good is that? Look, look, here's our oranges. And you can see these are not just trivial rocks. These are quite big stones that are in there. And we know that the crocs eat these stones deliberately. But they're, no one's 100% sure what the stones are used for. But without doubt, they help with the digestive processes in grinding up. But the other thing, sometimes you can get quite a kilo or two kilos of stones in the bottom, and I think moving them around also helps their ballast when they're in when they're in water. So I think that's that's through it, isn't it? 